to scan this chip on the BRP. Bring the phone slowly, 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 slowly over the chip, over the chip, over the chip. And when center will come, it will scan by its own. You will feel the vibration in your phone. So access the chip in your card. To iPhone, the scanner antenna is given on the top. The antenna is given over here in the center. Hello everyone, my name is Faraz Ahmad, one of the doctors working here in the UK. So I made a video related to EVs a few days ago and received a very good response. Received a lot of questions. People are struggling how to scan this chip on the BRP. So in this video, I'm going to let you people know like how you can scan the chip of the BRP without any interruption or without any problem. So first of all, you have to decide which phone you are going to use. So whichever phone you are going to use, either Android or the iPhone, you should have NFC setting in your mobile. So you should use any Android mobile with the NFC setting on any of the iPhone, iPhone 7 or the above. So all these mobiles must have NFC setting. So before going into the chip, I am going to let you people know like how you can use the NFC setting. So if you are having your iPhone, so NFC setting, the antenna of your scanner will be given on the top of your mobile. So this is basically top of your mobile and antenna is given over here. So I will scan and I will let you know just in a minute. And if you are having a Samsung mobile, the antenna is given over here in the center on the back of your mobile in the center antenna is given. So I am type 1 diabetic and I am using these scanner to scan my diabetes. So I will let you know using the scanner and these scanner also use NFC setting. So here it is saying on the mobile ready to scan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan this using my mobile. So you can see I will bring the top of my mobile over here and you can see. Yeah, it's scanned and my B, uh, BM level is 6.1. Okay. So it means if you are using iPhone, the scanner antenna is given on the top of the iPhone. Now I'm going to show you the Samsung and this is Samsung Galaxy S23 and we are going to scan from here. So antenna of the scanner, the NFC setting antenna is given over here. So what I'm going to do, I will place this iPhone on the scanner and here you can see again in this mobile BM is 6.1. So what this is what you have to do. You have to scan chip of your BRP if you are using iPhone from the top and if you are using the any of the Android phone, if it is Samsung, the NFC setting is here and you have to scan it like this. So I'm going to show you now how you can scan the chip using iPhone or the Samsung Galaxy. So one more thing I would let you know is like this is the iPhone and this antenna of the scanner is over here and this is the Samsung so antenna of the scanner is over here. So if you keep your card or the chip within one to three centimeters of your mobile phone it will scan by its own but it should be static it should not be moving at that time. See, first of all, I am going to use this Samsung phone and I am going to scan the back side of my BRP first. So continue. Now I am going to scan the front side. Okay. So in this way, I will go and here we go. So the front side is also scanned, image taken. After this, it is saying access the chip in your card. To do this access the chip we have to select continue button and please keep in mind as I told you this is the Samsung Galaxy phone and the NFC scanner in this phone is in this area. So we have to put this area of the phone on the chip. Okay. This area of the phone on the chip. Okay. So what we will do. So this is the BRP card chip is here. So we will bring the phone slowly 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 over the chip over the chip over the chip and when center will come it will scan by its own you will feel the vibration in your phone okay so this is what i am gonna do now okay so my brp is here here access the chip in your phone i am gonna do continue button okay so i have pressed the continue button so here it's saying place the phone on your card so i have placed and i am going moving 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 so when center will reach, it is doing its work now. Keep the phone still accessing the chip. So when you will do it, here you can see access the chip is completed. You will select OK button. Okay. Then it's saying scan the face and then you will do the scanning of your face or the face of your spouse or the daughter, whatever you are doing. 
So now I am going to scan this BRP card and the chip using the iPhone. Related to iPhone, I have told you that antenna of the scanner is on the top of the phone. So first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to scan the back of the BRP. So it's scanned and now it's done. We are going to move next and next it's saying scan the front. Okay, so front is done and okay all right now we have to access the chip in your card now we have to access this chip in the card and as i told you the antenna is on the top so what we will do so we will bring the phone we will put the phone like this and we will bring it closer to the chip when it will come close to the chip it will scan by its own okay so now i am gonna start the continue button okay so i have selected the continue i am bringing close so here almost one to three centimeter distance is there and you can say here access to the chip in your card access chip is completed so here you can see using the iphone we have successfully scanned the chip as well so this is very basic and simple process you should be vigilant like how you can approach using the iphone and the samsung so after that you will scan your face and you have to take your picture as well now that is saying you want to continue on the mobile or you want to continue on the laptop for that you have to disconnect from the mobile so your identity is confirmed using the id check app now you have to sign uh, in again into your account okay again same things biometric resident permit you so when you will sign in again into your account so this will take you to this page your form uh, link your e-visa to your account. This is reference number also given status started on the 28th of the July So you will select on the continue button So if we have done the identity confirmation using the ID check app So here you can see identity and the contact confirm your identity that is coming completed Okay, so now we have to update our location. We will select on this this button location. Are you in the UK? No. Yes, I am in the UK okay check your answer yes and continue okay so that's completed your location is also completed first option left is submit the request we will select on the declaration okay declaration i am the person submitting the information and i am aged 18 okay continue okay so what will happen your declaration is also completed and then you will select on the submit okay so after selecting this option what you will do confirm and submit okay you will click on the confirm and submit button so your information has been submitted your reference number is this what happened next we will email you using the contact email address we have chosen when your e-visa is ready to view okay we will use the contact details provided if we need you to submit any more information using your e-visa once your e-visa is ready to view you can use your online services to view and prove your immigration status